Hi everyone, I'm Miss Melanie. Welcome to Preschool Playground. Today we're going to be practicing some important social skills so we are ready when we go to school. As parents and caregivers, helping our children develop social skills, including how to interact politely in everyday situations, is one of the most important jobs we have. Teaching your kids to use good manners is also one simple way to instill the values of kindness and respect, which the world needs now more than ever. The key is to start early and be consistent. Learning to use polite words and phrases is the foundation of good manners. The easiest way to teach kids to say please, thank you, you're welcome, and excuse me is to make sure they see you using those words every day and in a variety of situations. This doesn't mean they will always remember. You can remind them. But if you are setting a good example, eventually your child will start using polite words without being nudged. One way to help your child build polite habits is through play. The game we're going to play is a variation of another game we've used several times in this series. Simon says, in this version, the person leading the game says, please do something instead of Simon says do something. The players listening to the leader shouldn't do anything unless they hear the word please and they shouldn't stop until the leader says thank you. By incorporating please and thank you into this traditional game and by getting silly and having lots of fun with it, you can go a long ways towards developing your child's manners. Let's give it a try. Jump up and down. Turn around. Please put a book on your head. Thank you. Touch your toes. Reach for the sky. Please roll around on the ground. Thank you. Be sure not to be too silly with this and make your child think saying please will get them anything. But be sure to have fun. Manners should never feel like a burden, so be sure to start teaching them early. Another important habit to instill in your child is what to do when they cough or sneeze. Now, more than ever, it's really important for all of us to do what we can to stop the spread of germs. One way to help kids do this is to create an element of fun or humor in covering up coughs and sneezes. To do this, all you need is your arm and some knowledge of your child's interests and a little bit of consistency. Start by explaining to your child that it is important to cover their mouths when they cough and sneeze to prevent the spread of germs because germs can make others sick. Let them know the best way to stop the spread of germs is by coughing or sneezing into a tissue, but if one isn't nearby, they should do it into the crook of their elbow. This is where you can get creative. I like to think of myself as a superhero called Super V. Super V! Because my arm and elbow make the letter V when I get ready to sneeze. Whenever I see a child at the library getting ready to sneeze, I yell Super V and demonstrate what to do. Super V! Super V! Think about what your child likes and see if you can come up with a fun way to help them build this habit. You could try using a princess shield, a vampire's cape, or even pretending your arm is a boa constrictor. Whatever you choose, just be sure to have fun with it. You did a great job today. Remember, learning manners can take time, so be sure to praise your kids when they use good manners. When they don't, Simply point out that they need to use the appropriate word or behavior and move on. Using manners is something we do every single day. So as long as you instill the basics and work to improve them, being polite will become a habit 
and your children will be confident in social situations as they get older. I'm sure that you're going to be a master of good manners in no time. Now, I want all of you to continue to share, be kind, and use good manners with others around you. The more you practice, the more that you'll be ready for kindergarten.